hello guys welcome back to my channel next tutorial and in today's video I'm going to be showing you the steps on how to format and reset your Lenovo IdeaPad 320 model it's a very easy way to get it done first thing you want to make sure the computer is completely turned off and you would need a small pen or a toothpick to be able to press the key it's very tiny it's located on the side we're going to be using this for now. You want something similar. So it's located on the left side of the laptop. As you see in the video in the corner, you can go ahead and press that key while the PC is turned off. It will power on and it will load up and it will give you this menu right here. You want to scroll down to a system recovery using the key button on the keyboard. Then press the enter then it will load you up to the recovery screen. It takes about a couple minutes. When you get to this, you want to scroll down to the troubleshoot option using the key on the keyboard. Then you want to press the enter key to select that option. Then when you get to this option right here, we're going to be using or pick in the reset this PC option which is the very first option then here it gives you the choice to keep your files or remove everything on this laptop we're going to be using the second option remove everything and select the enter key to enter that then you get to this right here we're gonna be using the local reinstall which is using the data that saved on this laptop then press up enter when you get to the screen right here you wanna scroll down to the all drivers option then press the enter key same thing you wanna use the keyboard um, key to scroll down when you get to this option it tells you to remove my files or fully clean the drive now when you choose the second option which is that's going to take longer time I'm just going to stick with the first option to do it quickly then this will take a minute to load last but not least when you get to this right here once you hit the reset key it will start the reset progress and by deleting everything on your PC or laptop. This is it guys. This is the end of my tutorial for today. If you found this video helpful to you, make sure to hit the like and subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.